Well, good morning, everyone, and just a few thoughts. Uh, uh, well, first, as we mentioned, Veterans Day, we thank those who served and have died in Galatians. Uh, Martin of Tours, is, as we mentioned, was the patron of the military, even though his father was a military man, and he was, became a, a conscientious objector, but then later in life, he was so known for being so gentle, always stressing peace, but saying, no, we have to protect the innocent. We have to protect the innocent. And so sometimes it's necessary to do that. Uh, as sad as it, it seems, of course, always pray for peace, but we know that. Uh, and uh, we think of, uh, uh, we're gonna use our, our freedom for good things. We think of Normandy and all those people who've died. Uh, but with Galatians chapter five, verse two to seven, for freedom, we have our freedom to live holy, righteous lives. Not freedom to remain in sin and darkness, but freedom to please God and to live holy lives. That's what that, the way freedom is used in the Bible, of course. And that's what we want too. And that first reading says, hold firm to the teachings of Christ and his church. Be careful not, not, uh, not to be too progressive to God's side of it. And then uh, the only time that word antichrist is used, um, Second John, uh, chapter 4 verse 7 it says uh, do not become like the antichrist uh, uh, the deceitful uh, deceiving you and so uh, I think that's the only time that's used in the New Testament there's a lot of articles in Catholic answers and videos on even that one word but uh, and briefly too uh, as, uh, as we said in Psalm 119 blessed is that person who wants to live in God's grace and truth sweeter than honey are God's words more precious than gold God's truth is which you love and you're here and again the gospel it, it, you know it reminds us of yes always be vigilant be prepared uh, Christ will come in glory and majesty one day we yearn and long for that day we hope it's uh, tomorrow or whatever uh, we yearn and long to prepare for that day or our own death her own death and like Jesus says uh, Christ will come suddenly and and even our own death uh, or, or sometimes as we say and uh, uh, the, there's many names who have died uh, we death don't look at it as being too morose or morbid but rather novissima as the catechism says first things uh, or death and judgment but but first things and just as in Sodom and Gomorrah and with Lot and Noah and the ark and on and on, things happen kind of suddenly. Somebody just told me uh, two days ago at uh, Shadyside Hospital, a devout man, and he goes, well, Doug, I'm, I'm thanking the Lord. I have pancreatic cancer and other types, so I know I have a few months left, but that's good, he says. That. But just think when he was doing the litany of the poor souls, just think of all those who die suddenly in a car wreck or accident or, or aneurysm or stroke was a sudden he says ah, the Lord's given me more time I said wow let me process that that's a pretty good line and then we kind of laughed when I said well that's a good line though huh? but uh, so we so we pray like in that litany of the poor souls we've been doing it in Bloomfield uh, and that this morning at St. Augustine's uh, just all those types of ways in which we ask for God's mercy and pray for all those who have died but okay, so Jesus reminds us, be prepared, be diligent, uh, always seeking the Lord. Um, so it will be when the Son of God is revealed to us, either suddenly or our death or Christ's return in glory and majesty, which we yearn for.